Okay, so today I wanted to talk about the iPad. Now, why don't we have them? <laughs> That's sort of the subject I wanted to talk about. I basically stopped buying iPads and I haven't bought a new iPad for a couple of years. You can see this is the iPad mini 4. Now, this is a pretty old device. There was a 5 and there was the new iPad mini and I just don't feel the need for them. So uh, there's a couple of reasons for that. Uh, and I sort of wanted to take this discussion to a more general opinion about the iPad and sort of my give you my own reflections on the iPad and why I essentially think that it's a pointless device. But you be the judge of that. And of course, I would love to know your opinion. Uh, a comment below would be so cool because then I would know what people actually think about this thing. So every year, Apple releases like three new New devices like you got your iPad Pro, your regular iPad and something like an iPad Air which is not thinner or anything but it's I don't even know what it is but needless to say there's a new iPad every single year and they get more and more powerful every year. The competition has nothing on them like iPads are the best tablets period. I get that but the thing for me is like the reason I don't need it is because the way my life is constructed is that most of the time, like most of you, I have a smartphone in my pocket. I have a Mac mini as my video editing computer. And so I sit here in my studio and I edit videos on this machine. And when I'm in the living room browsing the web, I'm using a MacBook Pro, which is great. And somehow I just don't see where this thing fits into my life, you know? Like, if you really think about it, the iPad is essentially just a big iPhone, you know? The problem is that these things just get bigger and bigger. Now, there was a time when I had something like the iPhone 4, which was like 100 years ago, right? then the iPad really did make sense. I, I actually liked the idea of having an iPad. I remember watching Steve Jobs on stage, sitting and browsing the web and doing fun stuff, FaceTiming and stuff like that. And I remember thinking, yeah, I could see that. I could totally see that. And I had the iPad 2 and the 3, and those were great devices at the time. I remember the first time the Retina display was there and I was like blown away with the whole thing. But then it was like, what's the point? And I want to give you an example. Two years ago, we went on this skiing trip and we had to take the bus. It was like an 11 hour trip, right? Just one way. And I remember I had my iPad with me, but I didn't use it, okay? So when I was listening to music, I was just using my iPhone. When I was watching movies, I was just using my MacBook. Like there was really no room for this thing. And it wasn't because my MacBook had a, like a bigger screen, which was a big plus, but I think I, even if the screen was identical, I would still use the MacBook because I can just put the MacBook, uh, you know, flip out the screen and just watch it. I didn't have to do anything. But with the with the iPad, you sort of always have to like hold it, you know, in your in your hands. And I just, I didn't want to do this. And there are these accessories where you can like, you know, flip it up. I do have that cover, the magnetic cover thingy, and you can like put it on like so. But it was, it's flimsy, you know, it's just moving around. But with a laptop, it's, it always stays the same, you know? I also do want to mention the iPad OS. So it seems to me that Apple is sort of trying to make the iPad, you know, they're sort of trying to make you think that if you buy the iPad, it could replace your computer. First of all, I don't think it's possible because I think that laptops are always going to be better than iPads. They basically, the iPad doesn't do anything better than the MacBook. That's my opinion, but I'm still to it. But also I think that from the eyes of Apple, they don't want the iPad to replace your MacBook because if it did, they would not be selling any more MacBooks. So I think in a way that the iPad OS, as amazing as it is, it's still useless. Like I will, I would always prefer to use a MacBook, you know? Or if it's like simple things, then I would prefer to use uh, an iPhone. Now, what I will tell you though, that if I was to use an iPad at home, for whatever reason, I would be using a smartphone with a bigger screen. Now I do also play around with Android devices because they're a lot of fun. And it just feels like this is a more like, 
This is a bigger screen than my iPhone. My iPhone is 6.1 inches and my Android is 6.7 inches. And this is a huge screen in comparison to my iPhone. But this thing, it doesn't really offer that much more over this thing, you know? And so it's tricky, man, because to be completely honest, I want to be the iPad user. You know, I want to be one of those guys who takes pictures on the beach with an iPad, as ridiculous as it looks. But I just, I just don't see it. Like, it's so strange to me. I, I think it feels like Apple sort of unleashed the tablets on the world. And at the same time, they stopped it. You know, they stopped it for taking, from taking over the world, you know? And I, I get it. Like, I think that in a way, I don't think that Apple wants the iPad to replace your iPhone or your MacBook. And that's why they've done some things on this thing that are just not working as good. Now, I look around at people, I, you know, I sit on the train, I sit on the bus and I see people, what devices they're using. And it's, it's like maybe one out of a hundred that actually uses an iPad when they're traveling. You know, I just don't see it that often. I've seen more laptops on buses and trains than I've seen tablets. Again, I think it's the whole, you still have to hold it with two hands. And if you hold it with one hand, it would just feel much better to use your smartphone, you know? So something just is completely off with the iPad, which is a shame. Now, I remember that first iPad event when Steve Jobs was on stage and he said that the only way that the iPad would make sense is if it does something better than a MacBook and if it does something better than an iPhone. And I have to say that 10 years later or so, it would take a few years, we're still not there yet. The iPad has never been better. I would say maybe it's better than the iPhone 4 as far as, you know, the screen size and everything. You're basically using a giant iPhone, but that's where it stops for me at least. Anyway, those are just my thoughts. I would love to know what you think about the iPad. Is the iPad a good product in your honest opinion? Do you use it? If so, what do you use it for? Let me know. Okay, that's all I have for today. Take care. Oh, you're still here. Oh, that's right. It's the behind the scenes. Never get tired of saying that. It's the behind the scenes vlog. So I realized that I haven't been talking about my cats uh, in these last couple of videos. So you might be worried. Some of you might be worried what's going on with my cats. The cats are doing great. Agnes, she's, it's amazing considering how old she is, how active she is. She's always, you know, jumping on the bed or jumping on the couch where we're at. And she's always, you know, she always wants attention. She wants, wants to play with us. And it's also quite impressive that every morning she tries to wake us up. Like, I'm not kidding. She gets up on the bed and tries to, to wake up us up because she knows that the moment we wake up, we will feed her. And so she's made it her life mission to wake us up every morning so she can get some food. And it's the same thing in the evening. Sometimes she'll just stand in front of you. Like even if you're on the couch watching a movie at 10 o'clock in the evening, she'll stand there making noises or sometimes just giving you, you know, that stare and just going like, come on, dude, you're going to give us some food or what, you know? And it's fun. She's great. Uh, Kaisa, considering the fact that she's just one or two years older, she's, uh, she's very old. Like you can definitely tell that she's old. She doesn't have a long way to go, so to speak. She's both deaf and uh, you can sort of tell by the way she's walking that she's kind of weak in her bones or legs. You know, it, it's, you can tell definitely when she's jumping down from the table or something like that. Like just doesn't have that agility as she used to, you know? And um, she doesn't see very well. Sometimes she'll bump into things. Um, and I think that the thing that makes me most sad is the fact that she can't hear. So whenever I take out, you know, bring out the cat food. Agnes, she can hear it like from, you know, she can be upstairs. She can hear it when I'm in the kitchen preparing the food. But Kaisa, she just, she just can't do it. So every time I take out the cat food, I have to actually go find Kaisa and I have to bring her to the food because she, she's not aware, you know? So it's a shame. Like it's such a fundamental part of your existence, the ability to hear. And, you know, I talked about the fact that I 
don't have good hearing, I actually use a hearing aid kit at work because uh, my hearing isn't that good, you know. At home, I don't, I don't have to wear it because if I don't hear my wife, then it's all for the better, really. <laughs> no, I mean, sometimes I'll have to tell my wife to repeat what she said because I didn't hear her. But other than that, it's like, come on, dude, just talk a bit louder. I don't need to have a hearing kit aid just in order to hear you talk, you know, like, come on. No, I'm just being funny here. Uh, over time, I suppose as I get older, uh, my hearing is going to get worse and worse, just like with, you know, eyesight. And, you know, it is what it is. I, I do like technology and the hearing kits, they do get better and better. They get smaller, which is quite impressive. Uh, the audio quality gets better. I can even listen to music using those things. But uh, yeah, life is what it is. Okay, that's all I have for today. Hope you enjoyed this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care.